I'm Michael Mandelstam. I work independently and give legal advice to local NHS trusts, legal training to them and also to local councils and voluntary bodies. I deal largely in health and social care law. That's the law that um, controls what services people get, what quality and what quantity of care they receive. Um, my particular interest in writing this book is not only because of my work but also because of what's happened to a number of uh, friends and relatives over the last 15 years or so when they've had hospital treatment, all of them elderly, and also um, a significant part of my family uh, worked and indeed still work within the health service. So uh, they talk to me about what's, what's going on. And, and that's really the background to writing this book. The reason why I've written this book at this particular point in time, I mean, there are several reasons. The first is that um, the, the issue of neglect and abuse in the health service is one that's been about now for a good few years. Over the last decade and more, the evidence of what's happening has become greater. But as it's become greater, there's been a persistent um, refusal or at least failure to recognise it at political and senior levels within the health service. And, and as a result, um, almost certainly uh, the situation has become worse in these last 13 to 14 years. Um, in addition, it's particularly affecting older people. Um, there are more older people, of course, than ever before. But with each year, the issue becomes greater as more and more older people have more complex needs and the health service appears to be failing to meet those needs. The particular thesis of the book is that the neglect, the neglectful care, the poor care, sometimes the abusive care, is not, does not consist of isolated incidents, but in fact that it's become systemic. Which is not to say that there's still not a lot of very good health care within the health service, but what it is to say is that there's now a very substantial seam of bad and it's very, very important that this is recognised. So essentially what the book does is to set out the evidence, the evidence that the problem is indeed systemic, to look at the causes, to look at who is to blame for it, if anybody's to blame, and to look at possible solutions to the problem. In, in terms of who ought to be reading this book, in one sense it should be everybody, because first of all, we ourselves, all get old and we all get sick and there's a fair chance we might end up in hospital at one point or another. If we don't, certainly our families, our friends and relatives will. So in that sense everybody ought to read it. More specifically in terms of who ought to be reading this book, we're looking at those responsible for policy making and the implementation of the policy. So we're looking at politicians in central government, we're looking at the senior civil service and we're looking at the senior management levels down at local level in NHS trusts. Certainly they ought to read it. Beyond that of course the actual poor care, the neglectful care that the book talks about uh, is actually being delivered by real people. It's not something that's just happening uh, like a law of nature or a law of physics. It's being delivered by nurses, by healthcare assistants and by doctors. Uh, they're the human agents responsible for this care and so therefore they particularly ought to read it to try to understand better what's going on, why it's going on, um, why they've been caught up in it uh, and hopefully to reflect perhaps on how we could try to uh, fight our way out of a, a, a very serious um, position.